Good morning, Maple Shade. Today is Tuesday, May 20th. We hope you enjoyed sleeping in, except for those of you who took the bio test. I'm Jess. And I'm JD. And we are your host for this terrific Tuesday. We've got all the news you need and more coming up. But first, please stand for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. There are lots of events happening this week. The Junior High Spring Concert will take place tonight at 7 p.m. The Senior High Spring Concert is on Thursday, also at 7. Also on Thursday, come out and see the great student work at the Art and Tech Expo. The Art and Tech Expo is on Thursday from 2.15 until 3, and then again from 6.30 to 8.30. Attention seniors, if you have been awarded an academic scholarship or award from your college or university of choice or from an outside organization, please provide a copy of verification to Mr. Ferrante or Ms. Hill in the counseling office before Friday, June 6th. The award must be based upon academic achievement or service to the community. Awards based solely upon financial need cannot be announced at graduation. The deadline to purchase a high school yearbook is quickly approaching. Don't miss out. Yearbooks are $85 and can be purchased from Mrs. Smith no later than Friday, May 30th. You can order online at jostensyearbooks.com. Supplies are limited, so get yours today. Take a look at this preview. Summer is almost here. Where? Do you need some Maple Shade Shades? They are $4 each and are available in a variety of colors. See Ms. Morgan or Mr. Smith if you're interested, but only if. Mark your calendars for the annual alumni softball game. It's on Thursday, June 12th at 6 p.m. It's only a dollar for students. This year, Maple Shade staff and seniors will face the Maple Shade Fire and Police Departments. Student government is having a fundraiser at the Morristown Chipotle tonight from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. You need to say that you are there for Maple Shade High School student government in order for us to receive 50% of the proceeds. Any girls soccer player who has not turned in their registration form and money for the Summer Soccer League must do so by Friday, May 23rd to Mr. Williams in room C37. Maple Shade's Got Talent. Tickets for the talent show will be on sale tomorrow, Tuesday, May 20th. Tickets are $5 and can be purchased in the cafeteria during all lunches. Take a look at this commercial. Wallet! <clears throat> you've got him made, you've got him made, you've got him made. I'd love to be you so I don't have to feel this way. Oh, look at that. It's some nice levitation there. Levitation. Any girl interested in playing high school field hockey, please see Coach Gizmondi to sign up. Our meeting will be Thursday, May 22nd at 2.30 in B10. Please make every single effort that you can to attend this important meeting. Also, high school field hockey summer league money is due no later than Friday, May 23rd. There are two turned in so far. Coach Gizmondi, please let Coach Gizmondi know if there's any reason why you can't play summer league. We can try to find a solution. Coach Gizmondi's goal is to have the whole team in the summer league. The dates are posted on the field hockey board or stop by to see her. Attention all Human Relations Club members interested in attending Homeless Night on Friday, June 6th. Applications are due to Ms. Caden in C39 by Tuesday, May 27th. Please see Ms. Caden or Mr. Ms. Lobley with questions. Attention all 8th, 9th, 10th, and 11th grade students playing football next year. There's a mandatory meeting with Mr. Diamond this Thursday, May 22nd at 2.20 in the auditorium. Please be on time. This is a mandatory meeting. See Coach Nicolito in room B14 with any questions. 
The fall cheerleading interested meeting will be on Thursday, June 3rd at 2.30. All boys track athletes not competing this week need to turn in their uniforms Wednesday. <coughs> what else is happening in Wildcat sports? Here's Taylor with all the info. The varsity baseball team has the away game at BCIT West Hampton and the JV is home and girls lacrosse has a home game against Sterling. Back to you guys in the studio. Also in Wildcat sports, congratulations to Robert Jones in becoming the second athlete in Burlington County history to win the 100 meters three years in a row and complete his career as Burlington County's fastest athlete. Matt Young ran his best time of the year at 10.04 in the two mile. Well, that was all the news we've got for today. Be sure to check us out on YouTube, MS Wildcat TV. Turn down for what? Turn down for what?